I'm Anne Tolley. I led the parliamentary delegation that recently went to Europe and the IPU. We started off actually in Belgium. We took the opportunity to go and meet with some of the newly elected European Union members of Parliament, particularly those that are on the committee for Australia and New Zealand. And we had the opportunity to talk to the commissioners who are working on New Zealand's FTA. While we were also in Belgium, there was a personal highlight, which was attending the Men and Gate commemoration, which has been happening every single night since the end of the First World War. But then also, in addition to that, attending the 102nd commemoration of the Passchendaele battle, where New Zealanders fought very bravely. Uh, and something that hasn't been forgotten by the Belgians as well. So as a combination, it was essentially a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. This is my first IPU trip as a parliamentarian and I uh, found it very fascinating, obviously, meeting with a wide variety of uh, members of parliament from all over the world, uh, more than 140 countries represented. I think uh, the IPU as an international organisation is most effective and I've certainly been privileged to be part of the IPU over the last couple of years and thoroughly enjoy the work that I do on the Human Rights of Parliamentarian Committee. As usual, I was very busy with the uh, Bureau for Women Parliamentarians. We were very focused. One of the major discussions at the IPU was on working with the UN to get universal health care throughout the world. The Women's Bureau was very focused on, on making sure that women in maternal health care and children's health care were at the centre of that universal declaration. I spent most of my time away from the main assembly and cloistered away doing my work on the Human Rights of Parliamentarian Committee. Uh, again, a record number of cases before that committee of abuses of human rights of elected representatives from many, many countries around the world. The work is important. It's a small committee of only 10 members, but I know that some of the reports we subsequently present to the main plenary of the IPU is noted by visiting parliamentarians, and I know that our work is valued by many, many parliamentarians around the world. We also uh, spent time after the assembly going to Budapest and meeting with members of parliament from Hungary uh, and dealing with their real challenges around uh, immigration and changes happening in Europe. So it's always, always good to see the sorts of things that are top of mind in different countries and to put our concerns in perspective. We had lunch with the Deputy Speaker. We met and had a meeting with two parliamentarians uh, who are on their Foreign Affairs Committee, the Chair and the Deputy Chair. And uh, there hadn't been a New Zealand delegation through for several years. So we were very pleased to be able to help the ambassador identify a couple of areas that she could follow up on. And there's several opportunities for us to work much more closely with, with Hungary. One of the great benefits of these sorts of expeditions is that you get members from both sides of the house going together uh, and representing the country. And it was good to spend time uh, with somebody from another party uh, and work together for the best uh, interests of the country. And I think over time that does actually have a positive impact in the way that Parliament operates. It's never about party politics, it's about representing and selling New Zealand and its democracy and I'm always proud to have the opportunity to do that. To have the opportunity for members of Parliament in New Zealand to contribute to the broader effort, not represent your party, not represent your region, but represent our Parliament and do what we can to assist our ministers in securing trade agreements around the world, but also continuing those strong ties that bind countries like Belgium and other European countries to New Zealand. I think that um, we represented the New Zealand Parliament well, and we opened several doors and made several inroads that will last, I think, for Parliaments to come. <music>